Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I'm here with um, Ife Oluwa Shukeye and Chika Mwewo. Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. All right, moving on to the main stories. Ozuna has gotten four titles in 2020 Guinness World Records. Um, his record title are Male Artist with the Most Weeks at Number One on Billboard's Top Latin Album Charts for Odyssey. And um, it lo it sh it's logged um, for six non-consecutive weeks from 16th September 2017 to 1st September 2018. Also, most Billboard Latin Music Award wins for a single artist in a single year, with 11 awards on April 25, 2019. Then most Billboard Latin Music Award nomination for a single artist in a single year, with 23 nominations on February 12, um, 2019. And also, finally, is the uh, artist with the most videos to reach one billion, one billion views on YouTube. Yeah, so I guess that's congratulations that's to him. Impressive. Yeah. Very impressive. I think he has about four or five videos that are um, past oh, the billion. Okay. They said seven videos. Oh, seven. Seven okay. as of, is it February 2019? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's very impressive. Because yeah. the other day I was I was even asking myself, like, are there any videos that are up to, like, one billion views? Mm -hmm. And I go on YouTube and I see, I think Ed Sheeran has, like, four billion views on one particular video. And I'm like, if we're, like, seven, 16 billion people in the world, that means, like, 25% people have viewed yeah, video. this, this video. Mm -hmm. So it's, and he has seven songs that has surpassed a billion views. That's very Massive. impressive. Mm -hmm. And they had to hold a special ceremony to give him four, you know, four um, Guinness Book records at the same time. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm happy for him. I mean, he's just 27 and I'm asking, what am I doing with my life? Well, you probably <laughs> answer that later, okay? Um, congratulations to Zuna. Um, that's, um, setting the standard and I'm sure a lot of um, the new generation would see this and know that you just need to work hard and persevere, be persistent and be consistent mm -hmm. and probably someday you come up with this type of record too. So it's not about how far, it's about how well. So even if you haven't achieved that, you're not 27 <laughs> yet, <laughs> but you will be all right and you do great things as well. Thank you, thank you, Ife. Ife with the Tuesday motivation, thank you. Okay, I'm <laughs> moving on. Um, the video sends his crew member out of his house after a bitter crash. From the video we saw making the rounds, um, this guy's name is Obama, right? Yeah, yeah and um, he came to, he was at the video's house at around 5 a.m., the lucky house, and was, um, according to stories, he broke bottle, was making noise, and then um, he had to be sent away. And while um, the video was, um, should I say, making noise also, he <laughs> ranting. said, ranting. Okay, ranting. He said that um, he had to cough out about 14 million naira to settle a case where they said Obama beat up a woman. Allegedly. Almost, allegedly, right? Yeah, everything is allegedly always. <laughs> But we could so, hear the video's voice. So. Yeah, so... Um, and I used to share and David. following yeah. that, I saw a post, I saw a post from David Doe, is it yesterday or this morning, where he put up a picture of his mother, like R.I.P. and yeah, your spirit. Yeah, so he was celebrating Your spirit is the one um, saving me or protecting me. So, um, yeah, that's basically the long and short of the story. <laughs> well, um... I've, this has been met with mixed reactions because mm -hmm. um, personally, I don't I don't know what caused the beef. I don't know what caused because Obama is supposed to be um, one of David O's very loyal guys mm -hmm. and all, but I don't know what caused the beef. So I can't really speak much on this because some things get personal. Some people are saying that okay, even if David O had done this for somebody in the past, like why is he talking about it? That you never know a person's true color until something happens and then they start spilling everything they've done for you. Mm -hmm. And some other people are of the opinion that that's what you get when you surround yourself with tout, saying we rise by lifting others. <laughs> yeah, so I think um, association also Matter. matters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if you are surrounded by positive people, no matter the argument, no matter what, I don't think anybody would storm into your house by 5 a.m. to break a bottle and do violent stuff to you. Mm. That means you're not even safe around your own crew. And David O's crew members have proven their lo disloyalty mm. over mm. time. Okay. Because um, there was this story of um, Choma cheating and they said it was special. Special um, sesh. Spe uh, huh? sesh or special sesh. Special special. 
<laughs> what happened to special <laughs> chest? Well, it was, it was, special it was, that it was the one who was revealing that like, somebody was chatting that I know oh, about your man's yeah, escapades okay. and mm. he was actually responding instead of somebody Shutting won't come down. to me talking about my best friend or my boss's um do you think those people are his friends? I think they are just. Yeah, that's of exactly what, what I'm saying. That that's it's, they've, they've proven they're the slow they, they cannot time. get, even if it's 200,000 naira from David Doe, they're going to turn on him. That's how I feel about it. Because I just feel like um, the smaller your circle is, the more productive you can actually get things done. But when you have a lot of people, you don't even know this because when the grass is all green, you don't know when the snakes are there. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you need to chop off the grass to be able to see the snakes. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what David O needs to do at this point. No, Get a grass gardener. Needs to always be green, right? No, it's so always it green. He just to needs to be grooming yeah. that grass mm -hmm. to make sure he has the right people. I'm not going now. I'm not trying to pitch nobody against each other, mm -hmm. but we know about a lot of very successful artists that they tell you that they surround themselves with positive people. And every time you see such people, okay, let me use a typical example because she's on. A, she was on our show recently. Wa Jay, when she came in, she came with her best friend that was supportive during her breakdown. Do you understand? Now that's somebody that you. You need around you at all times because even at your lowest points that person was there do you understand not people that don't know your struggle they, ju they just need david o because david o is um famous is rich and everything and everybody's hanging around and you're ruling with 30 deep that's not what it's about it's about even if i'm ruling with four people are there four people ready to die for me Mm. Well, okay. Yeah, the one that, um, yeah, the, one that <laughs> yeah, the one that looks at it like that people have different personalities and some people want a lot of people around them some people like family some people like friendship as family you might just think i'm a person to leave my circle small but that's just me you can't say oh david o should do this just because i'm not saying and david o should do that you were not listening to me i heard because you i never said um david o should do that you i'm did. just saying okay yeah go on please so um, um and we've seen over time that david o likes to have a lot of people around him it's it's not it's not a new thing and you know, it's friendship there's it, friendships are not always very rosy I don't think anybody can say that you have a friendship with somebody and it's always very rosy. Just because a recording was taken about this fight and we don't even know who took this recording. And it's crazy because why is somebody taking a recording of David Doe and his friend fighting? But moving past that, just because a fight happened this time doesn't mean that tomorrow they won't still come out and be friends. It's friendship. Anything can happen. So in as much as he has a lot of people around him, that's his personality. If he likes to have every person around him and he likes to cater for people, at least I, I noticed that about David Doe. He likes to cater. He likes to be the one to, you know, somehow shield them, you know, have a lot of people around him at every, every point in time. So if that's his person, I mean, so whatever consequence, whatever pros and cons come from having that amount of people around you, he should also bear that. So, but I mean, as I said yesterday, conflict resolution is always easier with guys. So I'm sure that's something else. I like your else points you because it just buttresses my point that you were not listening when I was speaking. Okay, great. It's time for a quick break. We won't return. Um, Busola Dakolo and Pastor Fato Ibu is still in the news. We'll be right back. <laughs> It's the hottest entertainment stories coming up right here, right now. This is Tea Time. Thank you for the tea. Between yourself and Neymar, who is the best rapper? I'm the best rapper. It might be maybe second after Magneto. Oh, oh, nice! nice. nice. That is going to fry my brains if you saw this. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your account number, I'll make a transfer. You get the money? Yeah. <laughs> for me. I started getting scared when Yoruba boys started saying, you know, we worry people. One thing is certain. If you are good, my dear, mm -hmm. you are good. My uh, kind of person, I'm not ready to cry look, over look, any man. You, know, you look like Jerul, no? Uh, a lot of people say that. Yeah, just the looks, that's all. Mm -hmm. Not the account. Just, just. Wow. <laughs> Welcome back. Busola Dakolo denies demanding 10 million naira compensation from Pastor Fatu Ibo. Um, counsel to Dakolo and public interest lawyer Pelumi Olaja Ngbesi um, made the clarification in a statement in Abuja stating 
that the Nigeria police force is still investigating the allegation of rape made by Busola Dakolo against the person of Pastor um, Biodu Fato Ibu. He, however, said that Dakolo, in forgeance of her civil rights and in line with constitutional provisions, filed a civil suit against Biodu Fato Ibu on September 6, 2019. The civil suit is independent of the criminal allegations and or investigation of the police, making it clear that the 10 million naira quoted by the media is the cost of um, the action carried out by her lawyers. Yeah. So I think this is basically what we said yesterday when we had the conversation. Um, I think we kind of made it clear that this is not um, a compensation for um, Busola, but I'm guessing there were lots of um, wrong information going mm -hmm. around there and he felt the need to address it. Yeah, so, if I... I have nothing to say on the story. Okay, um, Chika. Okay, um, I'm glad that at least somebody, at least he, her lawyer is coming out to make it clear because we know for a fact that wrong wrong information is always the first to spread very fast. Very fast. Yeah. And when I saw it, I'm like, okay, because the, the headline, the way the headline seemed that she's requesting for 10 million naira mm -hmm. for compensation so it looks like okay for the emotional trauma i've mm. gone through for the past how many years for this that that so it kind of makes it feel like oh this is what you were looking out for the first time you came out for this you just said you wanted money maybe you'd have just gone to beg him and say uh pastor so um, I, I need this amount of money please mm. help me so that's how it seems so now we're i'm glad that the lawyer has come out to say this is what exactly the money is for and we know for, we know that usually i don't know in cases in nigeria but when we usually discussed on cases um, in the abroad. Um, mm -hmm. They usually um, ask for legal fees, um, litigation mm -hmm. fee, yeah, um, pay to pay the about. lawyer. So yeah. this is what that is about. And it's it's good that he has come out to clear because you know, Nigerians will run with the first information and yeah. you know, put that out there. Yeah, which I like that we're also talking about it now again mm -hmm. so that people can get the right information. Mm -hmm. All right, since if it has nothing to say on this particular story, moving on to the next one. Um, so Elise's ex-girlfriend was arrested after fiscal argument with the rapper. She's said to have head-butted the rapper. According to TMZ, sources revealed that she allegedly hit him, head-butted him, and also threw objects at the rapper. Sway's um, security then took measures into their own hands and escorted her off the premises. I think that was when the police came and then the she questioning. She called the police. Yes, yeah, she oh, did. she called the police yeah. because she, she was escorted the story. out. Okay, but at least she, she didn't deny starting the fight, though. It was yeah, when they got there, there and they did the investigation changed. that they realized that she was actually the aggressor. Mm. But she made it look like she was, she was the victim. victim. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, she was going to accuse. She was accusing him over the phone. She accused him of sexual assault. Mm. But when it came, then she changed the story. That okay, this, that, that. And uh, see, toxic relationships are bad. We have to say that many times. This relationship is very toxic. Like, I know that Sweli has been with this girl for a period of time, and. She's always saying, oh, he's, cheat on, she, he's cheating on me. She comes out, she puts it out that she's really cheating on her. She cannot deal with this. That. If you cannot deal with somebody then cheating go. on you, just leave. It's not a must to date a celebrity. I don't want to make it look like that, but it's not a must to date an individual. Mm. If you guys are not working, then you're not working. Somebody doesn't have to die, or it doesn't have to be this extreme for you to know that um, you have to leave. Just uh, leave. And so Lee is, is, is a rapper. He's always on the move. He's always, I don't want to say, but rappers are always, you know, um, involved, or they are always... What's the word? They're always categorized with a certain type of lifestyle that mm. they're never faithful, this, that. So it kind of comes with, you know, dating that type of person. So you should understand. So all this headbutt, I mean, like, why would you headbutt an individual? Like, <laughs> when I try to imagine, like, why would you, what will make, what kind of conversation will you guys be having? Then you use your head and, nah, it's, nah, just leave, sis. It's, there's, no, there's no need for all of this toxicity. Just leave. Um, I think um, this would just um, go down the line of um, saying that domestic violence or assault in a relationship is not just categorized by um, the male actually being a perpetrator. Sometimes it turns out that women actually perpetrate this violence and then a lot of men do not speak about it. Now, if this um, didn't come to the to so our headlines or our blogs and everything, we probably wouldn't even know what this guy is going through because um, I saw a Snapchat video between the both of them where he was telling her like, babes, you're my wife, you just need to settle down and you just need to look, like look at Gucci Mane. Do you know what 
his wife went through before they got married because we all know Gucci Mane and his wife's story. Keisha Core. Uh, hmm? Keisha, her name is Keisha. And um, he also made reference to, um, what's he called? Um, what's the name? I mean, what's his name now? Chance the Rapper, saying that he was really broke at the time when he was with his wife and is a multi um, Grammy Award winner now. So I think he was even trying to tell her, like, look, calm down. He gave her examples of people that have been through this. Is and he broke at the moment? No. Who? No, it's I'm talking really... about Chance the Rapper. Like, no, no, I'm saying the one that is citing no, examples. Was, why no. he's citing examples to calm her down. No, to like... calm her down to let her know that, look, in a relationship, it has its pecs, so you just need to be calm. And he was referring to her in that Snapchat video that you are my wife. But a lot of women, a lot okay. of women do not listen and they do not they're not that patient and um i think we need to change this perception that because someone is an entertainer it has to come with cheating it has to come with being unfaithful it has to come yeah that's the general perception but we have people that are into the entertainment industry i'll use femi Leia, for example femi Leia is always um putting out his wife there and he goes round the world doing tours with adekunle gold and all the artists but he has a wife he's always posting her there do you understand? So I think we need to change the perception that every entertainer is the same. And um, if you know that he travels around the world, I think some women just need to um, slow their roll and understand that, okay, this is what I'm getting into. And not start um, trying to fuss when you're in that relationship. All right. Um, it's time for a quick break. But when we get back, we'll have one more story. We'll be right back. It's the hottest entertainment stories coming up right here, right now. This is Tea Time. Thank you for the tea. Between yourself and Emma, I always the best rapper. I'm the best rapper. Am I be maybe second after Magneto? Oh, oh, nice! nice. nice. Teddy is going to fry my brains if you saw this. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your account number, I'll make a transfer. You get the money. Yeah. <laughs> I started getting scared when the robot boy started saying, you know, we worry people. One thing is certain. If you are good, my dear, mm -hmm. you are good. My kind of person, and I'm not ready to you. cry over any man. You look like Jeru, no? Uh, a lot of people say that. Yeah, just the looks, that's all. Mm -hmm. Not the account. Just just wow. <laughs> Welcome back. Chrissy Tigan has um, 50, I think she had like a back and forth with Donald Trump and it was not pretty at all, like at all. But this has to do with the, I think it was the reform that was Criminal signed. Justice yeah, reform. that was signed in and um, John Legend was on a particular show talking about it and um, Donald Trump, <laughs> I don't know, like the conversation, the back and forth, the f calling her filthy mouthed wife. Mm -hmm. And sometimes Donald Trump just acts like he doesn't know that he's the president of the United States of America. Like mm -hmm. it's just, it's just um, funny. And I like that she didn't back down. I mean, mm -hmm. she was trying to be politically correct at the same time and not coming down to his level, but she had to respond to him one way or the other. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I. First of all, um... It's the First Step Act, um, which Donald Trump passed in um, April 2018, and it feels mm -hmm. like he should be getting the um, accolades, accolades mm -hmm. for that. Because at the end of the day, when a bill is being passed, yours is just to sign it. <laughs> Do you understand? And um, nobody owes you nothing. So actually, you're actually on a particular um, TV network, just waiting for just anybody to give you credit. That is just very, very disheartening coming from a president because at the end of the day, you don't need validation. You're just supposed to do your job as the president. Mm. So if you're talking about the justice reformation, do your job as a president and do that because that's what you're supposed to do, not for you to wait for people to come and praise you. Now, you're like, um, why is John Legend and Chrissy even talking about this when you were the one who did this? And even even the guy that passed the bill alongside, which has, which, uh, um, has now left Donald Trump, the mm -hmm. guy is not with Donald Trump. It was like he has that. We should go back to precedents. Have we seen any, um, what's it called, precedents in the past? 
engaging in verbal words with his or her citizens or civilians. They don't do that. Usually, it's not something a president should do. So this is very, 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 very shameful coming from a president and then using the word filthy. Even if you have personal beef with these people, because of, of course, we know Donald Trump was in that celebrity space, space yeah. one at one point point in time but right now you are in the position of power you are the um, upper echelon and this is not the right time for you to be throwing shades because right now I think you're even making those people more famous than they should be and it's really sad and I like her response to him even though she said some words that we cannot say on TV but I like the fact that Trevor Noah went on his own Comedy Central show to actually talk about it say that he's wondering why they cannot even say because it's a real mental condition <laughs> <laughs> do you understand like it should actually be said on TV but mm -hmm. and um, the news couldn't print what Chrissy said twice so they only um, broadcasted it once I mean they couldn't broadcast it twice so they only broadcasted it once and showed what she said but he said this is not the news so I'm going to talk about it and he said it's a real mental condition so he doesn't understand why the TV stations are not even repeating what she said because that was a good clap back and um, I think Donald Trump deserves everything he gets. Hmm. Chica. Okay so um, it's Donald Trump. Donald Trump is I don't know in him and 50 cents I don't know who's sharing the king of pettiness. He's always very petty. First of all it was regular interview on TV, like the way people are watching us now, that's the same way it was. And you're talking about the criminal justice reform um, for the um, people in prison, and you're talking about how it has been and how it has evolved. And you're, John Legend was very excited about it, talking about it. Then you come on Twitter and you're saying, okay, so you're talking about it. I was the one that passed the bill. Even Barack Obama couldn't even come close. First of all, why is Barack Obama in your mouth? Why is his name in your mouth? Just leave that aside. Then he's talking about um, how he was people that came to beg him, or the people that they were praising. So he back and forth, back and forth. He called John Legend and his wife. I like the fact that John Legend and his wife also said that they shouldn't let that because there was a there was a trend, there was a hashtag for it. President, we can't say what <laughs> I mean. The words are not for TV. So I like how it was handled. I like the way they managed the situation, but. I don't, I don't like bashing Trump because I, I feel like too many people do that all the, all the time. He's the president. I feel like he should just get, get off Twitter. I mean, your name wasn't even mentioned in the interview. Nothing. And I think that's the exact reason why he's angry because his name was not mentioned. Like, you should have said, oh, it's a Republican that did this or it's Donald Trump that did this. But it's okay. It's, if they don't mention your name, it's okay. I mean, the sen people that did pass the bill, like mm -hmm. people that wrote the bill. It's okay. I mean, they're still, also, your, they're still your people. It's that happened under your administration. Did you get yeah. it? Like, and he's now making it look like this is the first criminal justice reform in time of times. I, I read that when um, President Obama was, oh, sorry, when Obama was president, mm -hmm. he still passed a bill that, um, that um, reduced the sentences, the minimal sentence for um, people who were first, of, um, first offenders to, um, sorry, five years. So he's done something. So they're saying what President Trump even did was just like on that. He was just coming from, he was starting off where he left off. So, I mean, he should stop making it look like he's doing the biggest job being the president of the United, United States of America. So, I mean, All but right. great thank thing you for that, John. One, and thank you, Ife. Um, that's how I end this episode. Thank you for watching. And of course, my thank you, like I just said, will always go to my co anchors, um, Chika Winwo and um, Ife Oluo Shunke, and the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and see you later.